now, your host this week for Opry Backstage, Boxcar Willie. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Backstage at the Grand Ole Opry. I'm Boxcar Willie, your host for tonight's show. Just a moment. First of all, I want to hang my picture back up here on Mr. Acuff's wall here because he... <laughs> I, I just can't hardly go without my picture being hung on this wall. Uh, we're going to have a great show Charlie tonight. Charlie Collins will take it down. Don't worry about <laughs> it. We've got the king of country music, Roy Acuff, with us, and also bashful brother Oswald, who's been with Mr. Acuff for 52 years. I've been hanging around with him. You've been hanging around That's with right. him. And Charlie Collins over there has been 25 years, Charlie. And, uh, Charlie, this may work into a full-time job. I understand Oz just got hired yesterday. <laughs> Also, later on in the program, Miss Janet Tyson will have a fanfare report. And our, our good buddy Al Winter from Video Morning will be along with our John Hartford. Going to be talking about some steam train, oh, steamboats. And, uh, and we're going to close the show with someone who shares my love for trains. But right now, it's a pleasure to just to sit in the same room with the king of country music and the Smoky Mountain Boys. King, welcome to Backstage at the Opry. I shouldn't have that other way around. You've been here a long time. Thank you, my friend, and it's good to sit, be sitting beside a gentleman like you been since you've been to Grand Ole Opry. We're well, proud of you. I, I've told everybody back through the years, when I first came to the Grand Ole Opry, the Smoky Mountain Boys kind of adopted me. I said, Roy Acuff and the Smoky Mountain Boys, they used to say, hey, come sit in our dressing room. And, and there's so many million stories that we could talk about, but one of them, I want to ask you and Oz and Charlie, the, the, the entertainers of today ride around the big air-conditioned buses and four-lane highways. How, how did y'all manage when you had to go on those little two-lane roads and, and, and everybody piled into a car? You'd be surprised. <laughs> we, we didn't mind smelling one another's feet. Oh, you didn't mind smelling no, one another's feet? No, I'd try to take your shoes off, go in and get in if you could, and if you couldn't, I'd just stay out with pick you up and we come back. Well, I understand you did about, what, two-thirds of the driving? I, I possibly did about two-thirds of the driving. Uh, I, I, I usually, we drove two cars uh, most of the time, and I drove the lead car, and I like to broke my neck uh, looking back through the window to see if that <laughs> see back car. car was still back there. <laughs> now, Box, really, really and truly, we was on uh, winding roads, and uh, we hit uh, more at 75 miles an hour than we did the people supposed to drive 55 today hey, uh, we we the, i can remember when there was no speed limit in the state of tennessee that's right there was no speed limit no for speed a long limit. Time. just drive careful yeah. and we did we were very careful we uh at least we got there and did our show and come back i want oz to show everybody how he got out of driving how he got <laughs> many... oz <laughs> when it was your time to drive look over at the camera and show them what you do well <laughs> I, I was driving along. Benny Martin was riding beside of me, and I was trying to get him to drive, and he didn't want to drive. So I shut one eye, and I was driving along. Benny said, hey, hey, boy, you're asleep. <laughs> I said, I know it. <laughs> and that's how you got out of driving. <laughs> that's when we put him in charge. And that's when he got hired. That's under. exactly right. When you when he make Benny Martin drive, you just had it. You was really a boss. <laughs> Mr. Acuff, you're such an inspiration to everybody. And, and to have these p people stay with you for that many years, you know. I mean, nowadays, uh, you see a band, and, and the next week you see them, they got a new bunch. Well, I don't think anybody else would have my band. <laughs> we, they, we, got, we got along so good together, the other people couldn't stand. They, they, what's wrong with them? They don't have no fun. We had our own fun. We, I, we, we really uh, lived together. You know, two of the boys in my band have been with me for 11 years, and, yeah. and I think that's uh, Harlan Powell and Chuck Jennings. Yeah. And, and I think that's part of the secret is having fun when you walk out on the stage, because I know I watched y'all this afternoon out there during the matinee. You have a lot of fun when you get out there on the stage. Well, if I couldn't have fun, uh, Box, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be in the business. I'd, I'd quit it. I, I, I want to be on stage and have fun and, and enjoy it. That's exactly what I'm doing now. I, I enjoy sitting here with you and listening. Listen to you kindly bull a little bit. <laughs> I don't do that, do I? You, you put on a pretty good spread. <laughs> Charlie, uh, how'd, you, how'd you get the job with the Smoky Mountain Boys, if I might ask? Uh, he had Larry McNeely with him. <laughs> they come me. as a set? <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Roy, uh, Larry came down and played some banjo for uh, Mr. Roy one 
one night, and uh, so Roy took us both over and put us on the Grand Ole Opry, and uh, he told me, he said, uh, you play a mighty fine guitar, son, and, and uh, maybe you could do good in music business, and he got me to thinking, and I, and I moved to Nashville. <laughs> oh, no, no. How'd, you, how'd you run on the odds? Accident. <laughs> I knew uh, I knew Ozzy's whole family. I knew his brother in uh, Knoxville. His brother was a barber, and I got acquainted with Buddy, his brother. And uh, through his brother, I became acquainted with Oswald. And his brother, when he introduced me, he, I found out that he could play this uh, Hawaiian-type guitar, and I, I think he still does a great job with it. I, hey, they call it dobro, but it's a Hawaiian guitar. I think he's a master at it, really. Uh, yes, he, he, he really is. They don't come any better. Oz, you told me that you worked at, what, at the World's Fair one year? I worked at the World's Fair, yes, sir. What'd you do? I was a fry cook. <laughs> now, here he is. He's been with Roy Inc. Uh, 52 years, and during the World's Fair, he was, uh, what, a fry cook? Fry cook, yeah. What'd you sell? I sold eggs, bacon and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> you had to give that up to find a job. Here. Had to give it up. <laughs> when, when, I, when, I, when I first saw him, he was rolling dough. Rolling dough? Yeah, he was working with a bread factory up in Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you are, bread. You are, without a doubt, uh, one of the most unique and, and no, you know, uh, legends. Y'all have built a legend, all of you well, together, you know. And the Smoky Mountain Boys, you've got your own sound, Mr. Acuff. You had it for years and years. It's probably the most imitated sound in country music of people. Uh, and I'm guilty of it, of, of uh, you know, pattering after you. Well, I heard you playing out there this afternoon, and it sounded so much like my band. I just went out and joined I know in. you did. <laughs> and that was one of the... That was one of the big thrills. Mr. Acuff, I'm going to put, I'm going to set this uh, down here and I'm going to pick up my guitar and I'm going to get Oz and Charlie. No, I, I don't need my guitar. We're going to do a little song here. One of Hank Williams' old songs called Mansion well, on the Hill. Be sure and get your picture when you leave, will you? Okay. <laughs> Oz. All right. Oz and I recorded this together. Tonight, down here in the valley, I'm lonesome and oh, how I feel. How am I doing? All right. <laughs> As I sit here alone in my cabin, I can't see your mansion on the hill. It's always a lot of fun at the Grand Ole Opry or backstage Recall at the Grand Ole Opry. When we parted and we're going to be back with more with Miss Janet Tyson the and a fanfare report. Stay where you are. Don't go away. <laughs> 